What's happening, guys? We are going into the shop. It's been a while since we did a video. I figured I'd go over the progress on the uh, YZ250F build. She's coming along nicely. This is my 19 YZ250F. Um, we ripped it apart at about 30 hours uh, that we put on it this past season. Um, and we went to town, man. As you saw the video of me, I scrubbed and cleaned the frame, got that all polished up and everything. And cleaned each part individually and this is where we're at um we're pretty far along pretty early so which is good i want to get this thing done early so i just thought i'd go over something some things uh we ended up going with the uh the chair bees uh gray plastics um i was thinking it was going to be a little darker than it than it is it's more of a primer gray i was thinking it was going to be you know in the pictures it almost looked like the 2020 yamaha gray but I mean, I still like it. It's gonna, it's gonna be badass. So, um, things I Cerakoted. We did the uh, subframe. I did the cases. We did the um, clamps. And then uh, the shifter. We did. We did the brake pedal. These are one of my favorite parts. This is the. Uh, caliper we did the bracket black and then we did the uh caliper itself in a color shift it's a pigment made by warlock customs we did our hubs burnt bronze got our shock body the spring is going to be this really cool blue i have from gun candy so that's um in the process of getting worked on the hubs with the uh the rim, the color combo is amazing, man. I love it. Um, I'm not going to redo the rims. These things went to crap in like 30 hours, man. I mean, like the rims, they look good still, but they, there's a lot of nicks on them. And it wears out. That blue anodizing from the factory doesn't really last that long. So it wore out pretty quick. So we're not even going to bother. It still looks good enough. I don't want to do, you know, get new rims or coat them, and it's going to look like that in 20 hours anyway. Um... In that case, we cleaned everything. This thing is spotless. It's looking really good. It's my front caliper. That thing looks so good. You can see the uh, the color shift. Yeah, you can really kind of get an idea. We just did the calipers and like uh, in that we didn't do anything else. I don't know. I might do one or two more things. I don't know. But I figured we keep that subtle. And I am going to do a little couple uh, color shift accents in the graphics that uh, were gonna work up i have eric at mx graphics he's gonna do um he's gonna do a nice kit for me so can't wait for that but this thing is looking so good she is really clean oh we did the bars too in a burnt bronze she looks uh i love burnt bronze i think it's one of the uh one of the coolest Aracoat colors it's one of my favorites Pretty happy with the progress, everything, no problems, no issues, putting it together. Good thing about like the putting the wire harness in is once you get it to the point where it buttons into the frame, everything pretty much falls into place. And plus I took a lot of pictures on uh, all the routing and everything because that can get confusing, especially with the 19s because you got the, um, the battery and everything. I still have the battery inside down on a, a tender. It's been on a tender for uh, the whole since I took it out just to try to preserve it. I hope it, I hope it's good, it should be. But amps came out really good. So I'm excited, I mean, it's coming out um, exactly how I wanted it to. Um, since we started doing all the coating, I did open my little, my little coating thing here. Um, if you want anything done, just contact me. Can't do firearms. Um, I'm just not licensed FFL. Um, but as far as bike parts or any small automo small automotive I can do, we can do tumblers, whatever you want to do. Um, if it doesn't fit in my oven, we can do some C-Series with the air cure. No, I should have no problems. Uh, some of the bigger stuff, it just doesn't pay, like frames and all that. Uh, frames and... and um, 
So people want like car rims done and stuff. Like I can do it, but it's just for my setup right now, um, it's it just doesn't make sense. It would have to, you know, I'd have to use a lot of material and for something like car rims, it's unless you really, really are dedicated and want it a certain Cerakote color that no one else makes or something, car rims are kind of just almost easier to get powder coated. And cheaper for the customer probably. So, but we're coming along. I love this black subframe thing. It looks wild. We're going to put a clear vinyl on a couple parts just to protect it. Cerakote's strong, but there is no coating in the world that's 100% bulletproof. Um, you know, it's going to wear out eventually. It's going to last a long time, but it wear, it will wear out. I mean, powder coat, think about it. I can, you know, I did powder coated cases once and I wore through it, you know, halfway through the season. So, you know, Cerakote's just a thinner ceramic coating that is very, very durable. It's very strong. A lot of people underestimate the process of Cerakote too. Um, I've had a couple of people contact me and they almost think like it's a, uh, such an easy process that you know what I have to charge is kind of crazy but I mean you don't really understand the process of Cerakoting um, if you get bored you can always go on to Cerakote's YouTube they'll walk you through it is a process I enjoy the process and I enjoy doing it right so if you do want anything done contact me um, I think it looks amazing you're, you're not gonna find this type of finish you know with paints and stuff because it's so like uniform and it's just it's, a, it's not a high gloss finish so you got a lot it's more of a, a satin and it just doesn't look gaudy with all the gloss and stuff so but it's coming along this thing is amazing if anyone's interested in getting your frame done cleaned up um or if you want to just bring me the whole bike and we'll clean it up you can always uh contact me on that and we'll go over pricing and everything um i mean you're not going to you're not going to get your bike looking like this without a lot of hard work and doing it thoroughly and right part by part. Um, you're not going to get it looking like this without taking it apart. I mean, yeah, there's, you can do it to where the eye can see everything will be clean, but underneath there's going to be a lot of, you'd be surprised how dirty everything will be if you don't take it apart, clean it piece by piece. Our header we cleaned up, we did the headers, we sandblasted it, and then wire wheel and scotch braided it. I mean, it's it's probably not gonna last just because of the heat, it's probably gonna turn it brown, but it should look really good. Trying our camera on 4K today. I never knew the iPhones can do 4K, so it looks amazing. Hopefully this video, once it's uploaded, still looks this good, because from what I'm seeing in the screen, it looks beautiful. It's beautiful, man, it's beautiful. I'm excited. I can't can't wait till it's done. I'm gonna save the rims for last because man, I hate doing that. It is not a fun process. I mean, especially if you want it done right. It's just you know, chewing up a used rim and all that, getting it to where there's not a lot of side to side, not a lot of hop to begin with before you even start getting you know the chewing process in. So uh, we'll save that for last. I always do it myself, but I don't, I'm not like jumping with joy about it. You know, the parts, the parts pile is getting a lot smaller. Uh, we got a couple more things we got to clean up. We do a swing arm and stuff like that. Uh, all the spoke, whoa, all the spokes and stuff are in that uh, box. So the masters, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the masters yet. I'll probably do something in the, the air dry just because they have the sight glasses. I wish I had a, uh, an old master laying around that I can maybe um, throw it in the oven just to you know see what happens to the sight glasses. Um, I don't really want to test it on mine, <laughs> so I don't think. I mean, I think it might hold up, but it probably hold up to the baking part. But it's the gassing out parts at 300. Um, I mean, it depends. You can gas out at 300, and then you can bake at 250 for two hours or 300 for one hour. Um, depends on the part, what I'll do. I mean, it all depends. I've been experimenting with the 300 for one hour on some stuff and it comes out really good. But I definitely do notice finish differences in the, uh, the two hours at 250 and the one hour at 300. Shock body is looking good. I could have probably done the threads, but man, if you ever looked up the price on one of these, yeah, 
it's uh, I taped them off because these things are up in the eight hundred dollar range just for the shock body itself. I think so. We just taped off the threads and once the springs on there and everything, I kind of dummied it up and posted it and it looked good, but I can't wait to see once the springs done in the gun candy, it's gonna look really good. Here it is. I mean, we're getting there. A lot of progress made. A lot of progress made. I did most of this probably within the last week. Um, put in the frame in, or put in, dropping the motor in, and um, just slowly. I like doing it, you know, slowly. Since it's mine and it's not a customer's, you know, I I, I take my time. I've just been going back and forth with that and encoding stuff. I mean, I take my time with customers' bikes. But, you know, obviously this thing's not going anywhere. I don't have a deadline. So do a couple more. We do a couple parts at a time. Then go back to, you know, coding some stuff for customers or coding stuff for myself. And then uh, slowly but surely it is coming along. So, you know, if anyone wants any kind of detailing done on their frames or bikes, I, do, I will offer the whole uh, rip down. I mean, I, you know, I mean rip down, take the motor out wire harness out everything it's just basically you're starting from scratch and building the bike it's the only way in my opinion you're going to get it 100 percent clean you're going to get it 100 percent go 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 through everything you're going to it's just the best way to do it if you know how to do it tear the bike down i enjoy the process so pretty much it i mean i want to just check in and show everyone the progress on the bike i should have done some you know videos of me working on it but it's just been, we've been so busy jamming along with, you know, coding stuff and other things in life, so. That's so nice. <laughs> so, give this, uh, give this video a like, give the channel a subscribe. Let me try to start making more videos. We just took a little break for a little while because, you know, even before the the Cerakote process video I just put out a couple weeks back. Um, we took a break just because I was doing a lot of videos and I was running out of, you know, good content. So, I mean, I think a lot of people want to see this build and the progress of it. So just give it a uh, thumbs up. We'll have a video probably out soon of, uh, of more progress. And, um, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you later.